being able to uh, recognize this beautiful home here in Hollywood that we are building and once again I'm here with a group of investors that might finance our property the second one I came with one last week they are doing the appraisal now I have another one I just need to uh, have options so that's why we're doing a lot of these visits here and at this moment I'm very scared because this tripod is not hanging on very well and I'm just above the water, look. So I'm kind of having uh, butterflies in my belly just for once. And I just want to wish you a great week. It's another one, it's going to complete 30 days this week in isolation, in self-quarantine, in social distancing and uh, I believe this is coming to an end soon so be prepared, be safe and be well because today is a beautiful day So we just had another group of investors in our construction interest in potentially finance the balance. So the basic question that they ask us is how much do we need to finish the construction? How much time do we need to finish the construction? And how much money do we need overall? for them to finance. So I need to explain them that number one, we are delayed on the construction because of basically two problems. The first one was the uh, Hurricane Irma that we had back in 2017 and that delayed the um, permitting process of the construction. And number two, since that was a old house that we basically strip it down and rebuild it, there was, there was a lot of uh, misplaced information on the records of the previous house, so the architect lost a lot of time. So basically we lost roughly eight months on that construction, and eight months is what we need at this moment. Two months to uh, finish the construction, and virtually six months to sell it maybe we are going to need a little bit more of time now because of this whole coronavirus situation um, and regarding the amount of money that we need we need not only the money to finish the construction but we need the money to pay off the current debt finish the construction closing costs interest reserve for 12 months and if possible some kind of money for marketing so that's where we stand at this moment uh, due to the whole situation you see today is monday it's noon at, at right now and you don't see almost anybody on the streets so that says a lot about the current conditions of the market and the current concern about lenders and banks over getting to a new deal like this so our options are low but the current lender options are also not very good because there's nothing much he can do at this moment except help us to figure this out um, so that's it 
Uh, I think it was promising this 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 conversation. Uh, there were th there was three people there, so I think it was a good conversation. I think they somewhat are interested because they request more information so they can make their decision. Because what I learned is that when someone doesn't want something, they say you on the spot. They don't ask for more stuff. So now we need to send them the balance of the construction and the schedule to perform everything as soon as that we have the money and uh, that's it so now let's go home let's eat I'm going to try to fast this week and uh, let's work on the computer on my several offices at home one in the living room another one in the sofa another one in my bedroom kind of funny how things are turning right now This small SUV that Fernanda has, it was the first of this kind of car that I ever driven. Uh, in Brazil I had a sedan and on the five years that I live here in the United States, I only had sports car. I had the um, Dodge Challenger and I had two Camaros. Well, I mean, I still own a Camaro. And Fernanda's car right now, it's a lease and the lease is expiring in two months and I'm really not very much happy with my car anymore because I'm having a lot of clients, not right now because of the coronavirus, but I'm having a lot of clients, a lot of um, investors that I need to take once in a while to see our construction and when there's just one it's okay because one fits well in the in the Camaro but when I have more people it's it, I need to borrow Fernanda's car so what I'm thinking at this moment since I have my bike and I should use my bike more often when I'm driving by myself I think I'm going to um, exchange this car into a new SUV uh, because the lease expiring so I get a new one um, a bigger car like a Grand Cherokee this is just a Cherokee and I trade in my car so I don't need to uh, put any money down and that fix two problems number one I can change my car for an SUV and number two uh, I get a new SUV, a new lease because this one is expiring. So it won't change a lot. <laughs> That's Jengas. Uh, my friend that I was riding the other day, he's just past me. So in, in practical terms, won't change a lot because I will be riding my bike and when I have clients, I will have to uh, borrow Fernanda's car once again. Uh, but at least since the coronavirus is here and we are trying to be more financially responsible uh, it gives me more time to get the car with, that I want and probably it's going to be a truck just like that one.